Hi Virgo, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope um, you are well and keeping well. I hope you've had a good Easter and um, I've been busy all day and yesterday I started the videos in life because um, uh, I've put something into the chat. So go and have a look at another video and then you can read what I've put into the chat. But unfortunately, um, there are issues uh, on YouTube uh, with sound technical issues. That's because they are only working with a skeleton uh, of uh, people, employees to get the videos out there and checking them. The story is from a creator, um, a YouTube creator um, place, is that uh, they have supplied all their workers that are working from home with laptops and so they find it difficult uh, to get into the system and there's delays and it's really really slow but unfortunately uh, my Pisces um, video that I did um, last night or yesterday um, was there this morning at around 10 11 o'clock and there is no sound so uh, two viewers came back to me and said there is no sound and I am listening to the sound and it sounds as if I'm a male <laughs> really a deep voice so it might be my headphone but I don't think so because all the other videos I can uh, like uh, Capricorn and uh, Aquarius I can hear them so I don't know what is the matter my excuses for this it is the uh, um, coronavirus is making difficult issues post is being delayed my decks that I ordered or that I'm getting um, are being delayed as well so I'm so sorry for all this but the point is is that I would love to um, go out live next week and do discussions with every zodiac sign at the end of the week so I will be doing live uh, for uh, every zodiac sign from Friday onwards and Saturday to discuss the readings if you've got any uh, uh, questions with regards to the cards or the reading then I would love to hear from you and this goes for Virgo, Libra, uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius because I'm going to make them in a video and I hope all the other videos will be loaded up and will be on the channel by tomorrow if not I will start all over again tomorrow and make your videos I've got the videos so I can note them down and use the same cards but if you've got any questions or suggestions with the readings I would like to get um, more into uh, in connection with my viewers and the cyber angels because you make this channel what it is not just me and the cards okay and after We've done the discussion uh, live, then uh, I'm, uh, I'll be there for uh, small readings which are donated uh, with a super chat or a super sticker. And if you can't do a super chat or a super sticker on YouTube, then there is a possibility uh, to um, uh, do the donation through PayPal um, outside the live sessions. So I'm trying to give you a warning before, if you would like uh, to have an extended reading, then you can always go to the bottom of the uh, video into the description box and uh, there you can find all the information. I'm sorry about all the hassle, all um, uh, use this, this white uh, circle at, uh, on the top, the eye in the white circle that will take you to the website and there you can choose or see the different uh, readings on offer and there are really great offers. Okay, uh, let's get started with your reading Virgo and I hope you are well and safe and that you've had a great Easter. Okay, here we go. These are your cards and your, uh, I'm sorry I'm not doing this live I've, uh, because I also wanted to show you what I do uh, in the back office and I didn't, wouldn't have to edit it but you can see my mistakes as well. I'm not perfect, I'm just human. I'm just the channel. So here we go. This is 
uh, unfortunately edited and uh, um, uh, recorded beforehand. But I will be going out tonight and I will be going out next Monday, Wednesday and Friday for the free cards and uh, potential super chats or uh, super stickers readings. Then you get an answer with three cards and an oracle card. Your first card, uh, Virgo, is the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess, um, uh, she is mysterious. She also represents the moon, which is Cancer. Cancer is uh, represent, uh, sorry, Pisces. Pis Pisces represents the moon. Okay. I've been making that mistake for a couple of months because I keep on saying when I see the moon that it is cancer. Sorry, but cancer is very dear to me. And uh, there is, uh, I'm still learning, even after 45 years, I'm getting, I'm getting into the astrology side of the tarot cards and also the uh, representations of the uh, big Arcana and the uh, King, Queen and Page. Uh, they also represent signs of the Zodiac. So she doesn't, but she does. I, For me, she does, um, as she represents the moon. You can see it by her feet and on her crown or headdress um, that that is the moon. She holds the scroll of, of life. And if you dig deeper into the uh, history and culture of the tarot, then th this is the scroll called Torah. Okay, and uh, the uh, tarot has got culture, history, uh, different nationalities. They are Greek, Roman, Israelite, because the Torah comes from the Jewish belief. She's mysterious. She listens to her intuition. She's very spiritual. So, and also a Pisces is a very spiritual and psychic sign. But don't exclude Cancer and Scorpio because Scorpio is also very secretive and like she is. And uh, Cancer is very uh, sensitive, highly sensitive and could always be psychic as well like she is so you might be meeting somebody that is a psychic or you might even be going to a psychic you might be very mysterious or secretive your emotions might be uh, very high at the moment you might be very highly sensitive at the moment and you're listening to your intuition and new ideas you might actually be developing um, yourself to become a psychic or a medium, Virgo. You have the card, the, um, the strength card, and that all, that this card represents Leo. Although it's not, um, this is a, a big arcana card, so that represents Leo. Um, this card also represents the lady loves and is patient, and she has tamed the lion. Look how tame the lion is by her touch and love and nurturing sight. This card represents that you are standing in your strength. So you have been nurturing yourself. That's great. That's what you need to do from time to time, especially now in the uh, lockdown situation, nurturing yourself and getting your strength up. Perhaps you might have started to delve in information about life, about nature, about the uh, paranormal or alternative ways of living, because we are going into a new age. And some say it's the age of Aquarius, but according to me, we've been in that a long time already. Midweek, you've got the King of Rods, and the King of Rods or Wands can represent an Aries. So, Virgo, you might be meeting uh, an Aries. But don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. But... Um, he is a man of action. He knows what he wants and he goes for it. He's very logical and he's also very creative. Wild horses, 
You cannot drag him away from his idea, not with wild horses. And you might be meeting uh, such a person, and he is a very dynamic, determined person. Um, you might sell, get together with this person uh, work-wise or romantically, and you will be celebrating with this person, and you perhaps you might be getting engaged. You've got two kings, so you've got the king of swords, and that is a Gemini. So if it isn't a fire sign like Aries or the other two, Leo and Sagittarius, then it could be a Gemini. Uh, there again, don't exclude the Libra or Aquarium. These people have the gift of the gab and they've got the wisdom very much like uh, the, the, the king of rods. He is wise, he takes action, he's very logical, he does stop to think about uh, things, but uh, the uh, air signs, this, in this case the Gemini, um, he is, they stand for wisdom, he stands for justice, he stands for righteousness, honesty, clarity. Um, he also has the gift of the gab. He can sell Eskimos, uh, ice, uh, ice cubes to Eskimos. So he could be somebody that is selling something. He could be a surgeon. He could be somebody from an institution or a municipality like the, the courts or an advocate, a lawyer. But it could also be a hairdresser because the sword cuts. Um, and it just doesn't have to be a, a masculine man, but I will go, uh, I will, that is more pro predominant, but it could be a lady, a female in both cases, that is uh, career orientated, the, that is the masculine side of the lady. She will, they, this person can be very sharp, they are very sharp uh, in um, seeing things that others don't see, for example, they are quick on the draw, they might be very quick in, uh, in drawing a conclusion. Uh, they can be very analytical. So uh, if you are meeting somebody like this uh, on Friday, then make sure that you uh, both signs don't get burnt, don't get cut. If it is not clear to you, then ask what they mean. And in uh, in a romance, in in the way of romance, they can be sweet talkers, as the King of Swords can sell ice cubes to Eskimos because he knows how to communicate. He has the wisdom. He has the knowledge on how to communicate, and. Uh, they are stayers though, they are stayers, because so long everything is true and honest, and it's true love, and it's honest love, and it's clear to them that you love them, or you they love you, then they are stayers, big time, both signs, and definitely with the fire sign. The fire sign are really dominant as well, like I said, once you are theirs, you are theirs. Even I've seen it around me several times. Once people get divorced or split up, the fire sign still thinks mm. that you are theirs. They don't let go of things very quickly, especially the lion. Okay, um, this could be your soulmate as you have the two of cups. And the cups stand for love, passion. Uh, nurturing, caring. So you could be meeting your soulmate. One of these two is your soulmate. Okay. Now this man is very logical and he goes for what he wants. So Virgo, if you are a fire science desire, <laughs> he, they won't let go of you. They'll go through fire and hell. Okay. For you and Definitely the King of Swords will protect you. He will cut everything and anybody away if they are annoying you because they will fight for you. They haven't reached this status for nothing, Virgo. Okay? Believe it. Believe it. And open your heart, Virgo, and stop being such a perfectionist for others. Uh, and be
be more a perfectionist for yourself. Talk. Keep the communication going. Don't go introvert. Don't go within. That is what you are very good at, in my opinion. You are perfectionists and it is good to be perfect, but nothing in this world is perfect. So, uh, we all have flaws and learn from your flaws or your mistakes. And keep the communication going. Keep the action going. Make sure that if you want a long-term relationship, that you, they, everybody knows their boundaries. You as well as you tell them what your boundaries are and know their boundaries so that you don't get burned or cut. At the weekend, you've got death and death is a new beginning transformation. Okay, so you're no longer the caterpillar. You are perfect now. You have become the butterfly. If you've had either of these partners before, then now you know that the, your sole partners, if you've been separated or it's been a busy, heavy time with this lockdown, you might have got on each other's nerves and you might be at one side of the house or and they might be outside or the other side of the house. Let's put it that way. You have grown together and you found each other. Beautiful, beautiful. You are understanding each other much better. You've grown closer together. There is a new beginning of some kind. There is, has been a transformation. You've got judgment, so you've got a second chance or a new beginning. Definitely, there is no death. There is only been transformation. And you will see that at the weekend. Now, I will be going live at the end of next week and I will go live for each zodiac sign. So hit that bell and subscribe. And when you hit the bell, then hit all. Then you'll be notified when I go live so that you can ask questions about the readings or about uh, the cards. And, um, and I'll be asking you questions as well. Did you, did, has it resonated with you? Did the reading come true? What did, what didn't? Have you been celebrating? How did you celebrate with this lockdown? Did you do a cyber celebration with uh, family and friends? How was your Easter? Things like that. Uh, because Easter is also a time of celebrations. You've got the world in your hands. You've got the two of wands. You are making plans for the future. And luck is definitely on your side. You can see a ball here, and that is the atlas. You uh, again a two, so you are, you've got two twos here, so you've got a double number. You can take it as twenty-two, the angel's number, uh, because we have got angel wings. I think this is Archangel Raphael or Gabriel. Um, that is. Um, Blessing the union between you and a friend. There might have been some delays um, because if you've got you've got the hanged man, if you turn him upside down, then you can see the four with his legs, four hours, four days, four weeks, or four months. So perhaps in April, now we are in April, something is coming to fruition. Like I said, a partnership. Perhaps a love relationship. And again, um, you have ha had time to get a different perspective, to be able to compromise, to understand what you want, to get to know your boundaries, and also to get to know them better and their boundaries. You have learned to look at things in a different way that nobody is perfect and everybody has mistakes, but you've also learned, you've grown up, matured. If you are grown up, you have matured, perhaps mellowed out by becoming easy and sharing things and growing towards each other in a stronger way, as I think this is a transformation into a next level. Although we don't have the wheel or the world or the sun, those mean up to the next level. I think you 
uh, have stated your own way, you've taken time out to mature and getting a different perspective on how to deal uh, in confinement and lockdown, for instance. How to maintain the beauty um, and the spiritual. This is a spiritual card and you've got the High Priestess. This is at the bottom of the deck and look, she is prominent. She is there again. So your spirituality might have opened up towards each other. Your intuitiveness towards each other, what one would like, the, what one wants from each other without virtually talking. Perhaps you've started the conversation um, to talk better towards each other and that the passion has grown. Wow, exciting, really exciting, Virgo. And you are trusting. You've got more trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith that you are soul partners if you feel you uh, that you... Uh, if you haven't felt that before, that could be a question. How did you realize you are soul partners or soul mates? That would be a good question. You have waited. This can relate to the hanged man. You have waited um, because we are in the fourth month. I think um, it could be happening now. And uh, we are here in Holland. We are into the third week or the fourth week of lockdown and perhaps at the end of the fourth month. So something four, and because you've got two, two, two and two is four, because you've got the uh, four, two of ones and the two of cups. So four, something with four, either 22 or the 22nd of April, that could be significant as well. So there you go with the numbers. And I'm giving you an angel as well. And you've got Archangel Uriel. Uh, this is in Dutch, so will I will have to translate it. You know what to do. I think you do know what to do because you've got a different perspective. And I think you've done it. And like I said, you've matured. Uh, Archangel Uriel is the angel for grounding. Grounding. He is the uh, red color chakra. And that means grounding. But you can also see it as the color blood. You've opened your heart. And that is Archangel Shamiel and Haniel. So ask these angels. But Uriel is the main angel to ground you and ask him, to help you to ground yourself and stand strong in your strength. You are in your strength. That's at the beginning of the week. So you have already done that. You have grown in this time. It might have taken you four weeks or four months. And that's back relating to the hanged man and the two, two. Okay, four is significant for you. Virgo, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Take care and God bless. And I hope to see you with your questions next week in the live sessions. So please subscribe and hit that bell. And thanks for sharing. Ciao, ciao. Stay safe.